Minnesota is home to the largest ball of twine, the biggest gingerbread house, and now the largest cow collection in the world. Ruth Klasner's collection fills her home in Bernadotte, Minnesota. It started with one cow figurine and over the years has grown to more than 16,000. Rachel Slavic takes us on a tour of Ruth's museum as we go finding Minnesota. In rural Minnesota, the cattle farms can easily blend into the backdrop. Straighten the ears here. But at Ruth Klossner's Bernadotte home, cows are impossible to ignore. Yeah, they came out yesterday. They were in the garage all winter. And the outside is just a glimpse of what's to come. They kind of walk in and go, oh, oh, you do have a lot of cow things, don't you? Let's just say the bovine has a significant place in her life. I've just always loved cows from the time I was a little girl and had pet cows on the farm. I've just always loved cows. Ruth is a bit of a collector. Holy cow is a frequent expression that I hear. And that's putting it mildly. It's up to 16,336 pieces. For 37 years, the herd has grown inside her home. This is kind of where it all started. A staircase ledge eventually led to the basement. I try to push things closer together, but there's only so close you can push them. Where cattle of every kind filled every inch of space. Over here, we've got salt and peppers, toothpick holders down here. When they came upstairs, I think they pretty well took over the whole place. My two-faced cow. Ruth doesn't discriminate. Any cow will do. My theory is if it's bovine, it's fine, dairy or beef. Throughout her home, you'll find the cuddly cattle and clothing. A lot of cow clothing, but this is only the tip of the iceberg. Cows best kept in the kitchen. There's one in the refrigerator, too. It's called the diet plan. Are you here again eating? Even the bathroom has a bovine influence. There are so many unusual pieces. I can't believe they made us into a cow. It's difficult to imagine a time when this farm animal wasn't in Ruth's life. My mother died when I was a senior in high school. My dad quit farming immediately, and we sold the dairy herd. And it was hard to do because the cows were my life. With college and career came the realization the dairy farm was part of her past. So this was her way of bringing them back. And it just grew and grew and grew. Now it's a little more than a full-blown collection. <laughs> Though there's one item that just won't fit in the home. You don't have to be crazy, but it helps. She has no plans to put these cows out to pasture. This collection is far from complete. It's just kind of my hobby. It's, it's just part of me. Wow. Ruth estimates that that collection is now worth more than her house. I would say she's right. She says that about 16,000 figurines are now on her on her property. About a quarter of them are gifts or freebies. That tractor that just that just kind of took me over the edge there. She opens her home up for tours. If you're interested in checking it out, I think I'd like to visit her for hey, more information. Uh, send us an idea also for other Finding Minnesota ideas. Go to WCCO.com slash links.